afternoon, Judy. So we're going to take you through a little Pilates class. I'm going to do a couple of exercises and then pass it over to Hazel. So you start with your feet together, turn your toes out, turn your heels out so your legs are hip width apart. Hand on your stomach and then we're just going to do some pelvic tilts. So don't overly bend the knees and you're just creating a little bit of a bend in the back until you find your neutral, so your back's nice and flat. Once we're in that position, we're going to do a roll down. So put your chin in towards your chest, put your hands down by your side, and just gently, slowly, we know what you like, rolling the hands down towards the ankles, soften the knees when you feel like there's a stretch in the hamstrings, and we're just going to hold it down at the bottom. Hold it for three, two, and come back up. So inhale to prepare and exhale as you come back up. Keep the hands by the thighs. And roll back up and roll the shoulders back round. So that's your first one, which is a roll down. Now we're going to do a roll down into a cat and cow. So we're going to do it on the floor. So back into the roll down, chin into chest, all the way down. Bring the hands forwards and we're going to come into four point kneeling. So I'll show you this way round. So your knees are underneath your hips, we've got that neutral spine, toes turned under, we're going to tuck the chin in towards the chest and arch the back round, lift the head up and tuck the tailbone under. And we're just going to do five of those. So create a big arch, both when you go into the cat and the cow as much as you can. And this is just going to help to release that vertebra because we get stuck into that lumbar spine. Good. Once we've done that, we're going to roll over onto the bridge. So again, onto your back. Find the neutral spine. Put your feet together. Same as we did when we were stood up. So turn your toes on your back. So turn your toes out, turn your heels out so that your legs are hip width apart. Rest the head on a cushion or flat down, hands down by your side, push the hips up to the ceiling and squeeze the bottom up at the top. Try to not have any doming of the ribs and then slowly bring the hips back down. Reset so the back's nice and flat before we lift again. So back into neutral, inhale to prepare and exhale. Squeeze those glutes at the top and then lower. So you're going to do 10 of those for me. Okay. Um, if you've got a scarf or some tights, grab hold of those. We're going to use this band. And this is another way that you can floss. So wrap it around the bottom of one foot and lift the leg and we're just going to start by just pointing and flexing the foot. So head stays relaxed on the mat. Don't pull too tight so it's going to stretch out the hamstring. But we just point and flex. <clears throat> Once we start to feel the hamstring relax, as we dorsiflex or flex the foot, we want to lift the chin so it comes in towards the chest. And then point the toe and put the head back to the floor. So we point and lift and point and relax. So we're just going to do, and that is another version of flossing for you. And you do 10 of each on each leg. Then we can also take the leg out to the side and just watch this knee doesn't drop out. We want to keep that knee in line with the hip. Only go as far as that will allow. And I'm going to do the same with pointing and flexing the toe out to the side. Bring it back to the middle, feed it through the other foot and we can do the other leg. So we point and flex. I know that you're sore only on one leg but trying to do it on both. So you're flexing and doing the other one. The other one that we can do is we can take both knees if you're comfortable so that you're over onto one side and another version of flossing. So the knees are both facing to the left, but 
both hands so they're on like either side of the knee and we're going to bend and lift that's all we're going to do so just take the chest down towards the thigh like you're doing a little push-up but this is perfect when you've been on a walk because it's just going to stretch out all down the back of the hamstring and right into the piriformis so we'll just bend and come back down try not to hold that pose and just do 10 of those and again make sure that you do it on both sides because the danger is that you'll get soft on one side and then it'll tighten up on the other so again hands on either side and come down just go as low as you can until you feel that stretch and then lift back up once you've done those the last one we're going to do is just to help release the back so lying i'll show you this way onto your back Lift your knees up, just make sure that your toes are higher than your knees. Arms down by your side, and we're just going to drop to one side. Keep your feet up, don't let the feet drop. And then back to the middle, and then over to the other side. So take your head to the opposite side of the way that your feet are going. Try to keep your fingertips nice and soft on the floor, don't push down through them. And again, so if we stick with 10 of everything, so do five on one side and five on the other. And you can also do a little bit of nerve flossing from this position. So you can take the knees over, extend the top leg and point that toe. And again, it's just another way of flossing. It's going to be a very good flosser at the end of this. And then over to the other side, extend, point, flex. Back to the middle, roll over, and I always think it's good to finish on cat and cows. So you can do your cat and cow, and then push yourself up into downward facing dog, and just put those heels down to the floor. A really good stretch after a walk to stretch out right at the back of the legs. So you're pushing the heels, you're keeping the knees bent. And you want to try and keep the head so that it's in line with the hands. If you're down there too long, you might feel a bit sick. So bring the knees in, bend the back, walk the hands in, roll yourself back up, and you can finish with a couple of those roll downs. Once you've finished, give yourself a little pat on the back and make sure you do them. <laughs> 